So this is the new Live Hale 1. Uh, it's the top of the range aluminium model in the range. So there are two aluminium models, this is the top one. The Hale is a 160mm travel bike, front and rear. And it's an interesting bike because this is probably the burliest women's specific uh, all mountain trail bike uh, aimed at enduro riders on the market that we've seen so far in 2017. So the Liv's approach to women's specific design is, I guess, what you could call true women's specific design. So this isn't just a unisex frame with women's specific saddle and grips or different uh, gearing options. This is a frame with geometry that's been specifically designed for women according to Liv's approach to design. So that means that Liv take data from a global body dimension database and use that to inform their bike design and the, the designs are further refined by uh, pro rider testing and, and various advocates who ride their bikes as well. Liv claimed that this bike has a slightly higher bottom bracket. Now, I need to clarify exactly higher than what. Normally, I wouldn't say that that's a good thing, but they claim that because women carry their weight lower in their bodies, with the trunnion mounted shock and the combination of that, that means that they can raise the bottom bracket to give greater clearance when you're riding over obstacles. So this is a pretty burly bike and there are a lot of clues on here as to its intended purpose. So there's a chain device on the front chain ring to make sure that chain doesn't dislodge when you're riding down rough terrain. There's a 1x11 SRAM GX group set and we've got some pretty decent SRAM guide RS brakes on the front there as well so the stopping power is significant. Nice and smooth, pretty powerful. Up front you've got RockShox Lyric forks. Now these are dual position forks, so they are 160mm travel but you can lock them out down to 140mm. Liv say that this makes them easier for climbing. Personally I haven't really bothered locking them out so far in the, in the riding that I've done to date. I've mostly been focused on riding trails or downhill tracks. So one thing I have found with these dual position lyrics is while it was great at the first part of the travel, it was great for absorbing the lumps and bumps in the trail, small impact stuff, I did find that when I started to hit bigger terrain, I did blow through that mid-range of travel pretty quickly. So it's taken a bit of um, play to get the RockShox forks set up just how I want them. The forks were supplied with a token which you can pop in and that should help firm up that mid-range of travel. So that's my plan next to pop that in and see what difference that makes. The other element that uh, I'm not 100% on is the dropper seat post. So you get 100 mil of travel on that and personally for bike for this purpose I would like a bit more. So even when I've got it full extension um, it's not quite high enough for me, I'd have to raise it up quite a lot from the uh, collar to pop it down. You've only got, down here, you've only got a short amount of travel, so I would personally prefer more drop on my dropper seat post, but you're inhibited by the bend in that seat tube. At the rear you've got the RockShox Deluxe R trunnion mounted shock uh, incorporated into the Giant Maestro system. So Liv is the sister company of Giant, Giant make the frames and this is a really well proven suspension system. This segment on all models of the hail, uh, so including the aluminium models here, is uh, carbon composite forged so that helps keep the weight down. So although this is an aluminium bike we haven't given it a proper way yet. It feels a lot lighter than you might expect, considering the parts and the price. Wheels are giant sewn, and on them you've got the Schwalbe Magic Mary at the front, nice and grippy, and at the back you've got a hand stamp. I really like this tyre setup. I found it gave me plenty of grip front and rear, particularly at the front, it bites in really nicely on boggy terrain. All in all, a really good setup. So what's it like to ride? Well, I had an absolute blast on this beast. Point it downhill over rough terrain and it absolutely flies. You feel secure, you feel planted, you feel like you're in a really good stable position to sort of get down rough terrain. I wouldn't say that I'm the most natural jumper in the world, but this is a bike that will encourage you through the whole process. It really wants to take off. So you feel really stable and fast in the run up, you pop into the air, really easily and it's a really stable secure landing so planted feeling when you hit the ground. 
I have really enjoyed riding this bike so far and I'm dead keen to take it out and put it through uh, an even rougher ride wherever I can take it. it. It's a bike that really wants to go down the rough stuff and it wants to ride fast, ride hard and have a blast doing it. Um, and it also looks pretty badass as well. Yeah, there's a little bit of pink in there, but it's kind of pink with a girt edge. Hey, hey.